My name is Ezekiel from Annex Suspension Group, and today we're going over coilover lock rings and why we love the Annex lock rings so much. Our proprietary lock rings feature a scalloped surface and recessed holes to positively lock and self-center our coilover spanner wrenches. Ever bust your knuckles trying to undo the lock rings? Trust me, we've all been there. So what are the functions of each of the three lock rings? The top two lock rings hold the spring in place and provide a preload setting for the spring. Spring preload is a critical adjustment and is adjusted separately from ride height. If there's too much preload, ride quality can suffer. If there's not enough, the spring can become uncaptured and affect performance and create excessive noise. Annex Fast Road Pro coilovers come with preload preset during the build process, so no need to worry about setting preload yourself. To adjust spring preload, measure the total height of the spring and determine what the manufacturer's spring preload setting is. Next, turn the top lock ring and compress the spring until the desired preload setting is achieved. Finally, lock the second lock ring against the top lock ring to finalize your spring preload adjustment. The bottom lock ring locks against the bottom bracket to adjust ride height. On our coilovers, you loosen this lock ring and turn the entire shock to adjust ride height. During installation, all you need to do is set the ride height on all four corners and torque the lock rings to spec as listed in your service manual. To keep your coilovers clean and maintained is the key to lock ring function. You can maintain your coilovers by cleaning your shock body threads with a brush and using a light oil to lubricate the threads before performing any adjustments. That's it for our video on the Annex coilover lock rings. Thank you guys for watching. Check out our website and social media channels in the description below and look forward to more videos from Annex Suspension Group. Thanks for watching, you guys.